What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Infinite Magic Raid, and today we gotta talk about probably one of the best heroes in the game, being only an epic hero at that, and that is Holder. You hear us talk about him constantly. If you haven't, you need to hit that subscribe button quick so you can see all the videos that we post. Even hit that notification bell if you want, but beware, we post a lot of Infinite Magic Raid videos, but today we need to highlight how to build him because gearing on him is very, very important, as well as what hero you pair him with because you don't want to just put him in there by himself you're going to want some synergy heroes with him as well and they're not that hard to come by so hopefully you guys enjoy this one make sure you guys hit that subscribe button like i said let's get going Okay, so let's go to the gallery. Let's pull up our main man. I think Eternal Sect, right? Yep, Eternal Sect it is Holder. The weird tentacle slash demon hunter slash hooded figure. AoE damage, counterattacking, bleeding. He is the best of the best when we are talking about epic heroes for damage dealers we've had like a bunch of different videos talking about different types of good epic heroes between the best epic hero team composition uh, all those different things but people really wanted to break down holder by himself so today we're going to do an official guide we're even going to talk about some gearing options for him as well so quick overview scythe cut deals two stages of 60 percent damage to a single enemy with a 20 percent chance to inflict a bleed having a bleed on the enemy is very very important for this hero death storm first active skill deals damage two stages of damage to all enemies so first ability that hits multiple targets with a 20 percent chance to inflict a layer of bleed again very very good if you get the skill up to level five minus one cooldown this is very very strong and very important again the bleed is the most important part about this hero because his passive ability hidden shadows uh holder deals 24 percent more direct damage to any target under a bleed status effect exclusive level two if holder attacks a target under a bleed status the direct damage dealt by hidden shadow in addition or is additionally increased by five up to 25 percent for every layer of bleed on the target so not only do you want just bleed on the target you want multiple bleeds on the target making it stack up even more which is why i say yes it's good to have him as a main damage dealer but not just by himself you want some others with him and of course his big damage ability uh arrogant so this one buffs up his main death storm hit this one increases attack by 20 percent for two turns if you get it up to level three it's basically like a 50 percent up time it's kind of crazy meanwhile grants himself counterattack for three turns and yeah the attack up is the important part the duration of counterattack inflicted by arrogant is extended by one turn and self attack up status is increased to 40 percent level three exclusive very huge as well so as you guys see everything is relying about this bonus damage that goes up to 44 percent additional damage at level five that is absolutely huge so how do you want to gear this hero up now we're going to jump into our hero list because there's actually one set of gear that i think is absolutely amazing on him there's a couple that you can kind of use and uh yes we're on serena just kind of ignore that one of them is the wild set so the wild set is increasing his attack by attack and crit rate those are two very very good stats to have on holder um he's very much one that you want to worry about his direct damage because as you guys know um there are mastery sets of gear that increase your mastery up to 20 percent but in reality his dots are not what's dealing all the damage it's him his direct damage his direct hits you just want a bleed on the target in order to do extra damage so out of all the sets here if you are a beginner player uh, what I would probably try to do is run like a two piece of crit rate and a two piece of crit damage that way you're getting 15% crit rate crit rate 20% damage um, pretty solid if you do get a wild set attack and crit rate is good too i would say crit rate is the more important stat here to make sure that he's actually critting and then after that you worry about the crit damage which is the multiplier um 
Crit rate, definitely number one. I kind of like going up to crit rate about to 50% damage on a hero. And then once we're past 50% is when I like to focus more on the crit damage. So the crit rate or the crit damage sets are amazing. As you do get further in the game, you get some other sets to, at your disposal. This one's really good. If I had to pick, I think I would go for the, uh, the Slayer set over the Wild set because you're getting crit rate and crit damage so those are two very 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 important statistics right there um now where's my holder at down here okay so we got our holder we don't really use him on our main account but there is something to also talk about let me just jump to some other gear here now when you have your weapon your armor your boots and your accessory these stats are always static you notice the speed is always on boots hp is always here Defense is here, attack is here. You can kind of see on every single hero, it follows the same theory. However, the secondary stats are what are gener like basically RNG generated, where you might need to farm a ton of additional gear because in reality, you want to build speed, crit, crit, and attack. So if you can get as many of those rolls as possible, it's good. If you get something like this that you see here on our wild set, not that great. This one's an okay one with crit rate. Uh, but you can see overall, none of these pieces would be that great for the hero. Now, the next part, we need to talk about all your artifacts. So, artifacts are randomly generated what the main stat you're getting. You'll notice here you have this one's HP that I enjoy, but there's other ones with mastery, crit rate, crit damage. You really want to go for one with a good crit rate, even if it's a lower tier I would probably run the lower, lower tier with the correct role and correct secondary roles over, say, like, oh, I don't know, like this thing with healing effect. And yeah, the other stats are good, but healing effect isn't going to do much for you. Uh, same thing here. I would go for an attack one for your uh, secondary artifact when you get up to ascended or awakened uh, three star. And then when you get to awakened five star, you get the final one here. I would definitely go for the speed stat on him. Speed is going to be good. Uh, you can get attack rate on him too, but I do think speed is the more important one because you just want him going before the enemies and it ends up being very, very strong. Now, beyond that, like I said, you are going to want to focus on heroes that have bleed effects as well because, well, you just want to get as many stacks as possible, especially once you get to exclusive level two. If you're not there yet, you don't really have to worry about it as much, but you really want to get a ton of bleed heroes on your team. So really anything works as long as he is your main damage dealer. Typically what I do and run on my teams is one strong AOE damage dealer, uh, one good single target damage dealer, and then a healer, a uh, shielder, like a whim. And then the third spot is kind of open. So you can kind of throw like any type of hero you want on your team. The big thing is you just want to find someone that has a bleed debuff effect, uh, preferably AOE, because if you can get like a bleed on everybody, uh, like a Lomas or something like that, that is going to be a huge benefit to your main damage dealer. So run bleed heroes. Uh, you don't have to even make them that strong. Just make them strong enough to survive with your support heroes. And then let your man holder just mow down the opponent. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the game. Holder is amazing. We can't say it enough. He's just the best hero you can go for, really. Uh, granted, there are some other substitutes that we will talk about probably tomorrow. We'll be talking about the best AOE damage dealers from the Epic. Since today we talked about the healers, we've already talked about support. Might as well talk about the other damage dealers that do very well as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Please take one second, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.